How's everyone doing? I hope really well. And today I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my Dollar Tree gnome. So let me show you what things I found. First, the best find was these, and I just found them recently at Walmart. Little boots. They have bells, and they feel like real fur. And of course, they're not real fur. They were only a dollar ninety-eight. And you're going to need, well, this is what I used. I got this hat at the Dollar Tree because it matched the boots. The same color. How cool is that? Okay, what else do we have here? We have, we will need scissors because you're going to need to trim your beard. And I got this fur for the beard because his beard's a little scraggly looking. I'm going to use this and glue gun. I got my trusty pink one, big pink one. Did I say scissors already? Yeah, I said scissors because you're going to need to cut. And a thread puller thingy so that you can pull the threads out of this so you don't have to tear it up. They pull it out real nicely for me using this. And you can get these really cheap if you need them for other things. And some glue sticks. So let's get him started. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do first. I think we'll put the boots on last. We'll work on everything else first. So I actually already trimmed down some fur. So I'm gonna take these fur pieces and I'm gonna make him some mittens. And we're just gonna hot glue them right to his hands. And they won't hurt a bit. And then I trimmed down another fur piece to use up here on the top of his hat. So let's get started doing that. Let's bring him a little closer. I can get to his arms and I want to bring the fur downward. Let's bring it in a downward position so we can wrap it around his hands and turn him around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the backing of the fur and this is the fur from the hat remember. So here we go. And my glue gun's a little low right now, so I probably need a refill real quick. But enough for this guy. Don't burn yourself. Been there, done that. Okay. So let's take this very carefully, and I am burning my thumb as I speak. <laughs> Ow! I need to take my own suggestion and let's get that fur out of there bend that around his arm and bend that around his arm and just fluff it up a little bit let me pull him back some that looks so cute oh my goodness that looks so cute okay Fix this fur up a little bit. All right. Now we're going to do this arm, but this time I'm going to move his beard out of the way. Get out of the way. Coming through. And I think I'm going to glue his hand this time so I won't be handling the fur and burning my fingers. <laughs> Let's do that. And we'll put the glue right here. I'll move him back a little bit so you can see. The glue right here. And on the back. Okay. 
and take this piece and wrap this one around like we did the other one. And how cute and simple was that? Oh my goodness. He looks so cute already. Get some of these furs up here. Oh my gosh. That's too cute. Let's make sure the glue's not sticking because we're going to put the beard on next. So let's see. How do we want this beard to go? I think, let's see, not that way. Let's try a couple different ways. So I don't want to see the, this in the back here. And that looks good right there. So we shall cut it from here to about here. I like my measurements. <laughs> I'm just going from his shoulder to the shoulder. And just trim it down from there. So let me cut that out. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to trim some of his old beard off. Just to get rid of that bulk, under, especially underneath his nose, to put on the new beard. We really don't need his old beard. He has a new beard. He got a perm. <laughs> Let's see. All right. This should be pretty good. All right. Let's see, we got his beard right. And I'm going to make a little V right here with the scissors, right there in the center to go underneath his nose. So let me cut that out. And you just want to cut the fabric, don't cut the fur if you can. Try your best. That's going right underneath there for me. See that with my scissors? It's going right up underneath. Let me cut that little V out. Have fur flying all over the place. A part of it. I'll show you as soon as I'm done. There's the little V that I cut out, so it can fit right up underneath its nose. So let me separate this fur here, or this beard. See how that looks? Looking good. So cute. All right. These little extra pieces here. And I am going to glue along here, under the nose, and over to this corner. Let me run the glue up under here. Okay, I'm going to lean him down some. I might cut away some more of that fur. So let me cut away a little bit more of fur. <laughs> his beard. His old beard. I'm going to cut a little bit more of that away. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I've added the glue. We're going to go from this corner. Over to this, underneath his nose, and over to this corner. Now this side looks a little longer than the left side. So just be careful putting this on again with this hot glue. So I'm gonna take that, go up underneath of his nose. Hopefully I want to be able to see his nose. And I'm going to trim some of this back. It's looking so cute. Okay. I'm going to bring his hands up once I'm done like that. So, that's 
wait till this adheres. And we'll give him a little bit of a trim here and down here. I'm going to trim him down here and across here. And then we will set him like this. And I may put something in his hands. I'm not sure yet. I like his hands like this. So cute. Okay, let's see. Let's give him a little trim. I'm going to get my scissors. They cut a little bit better than the ones I have right here. I'll be right back. All right, I got my teeny tiny scissors. But they cut better than the big scissors. So let's give him a little trim. So it doesn't look like it's going up in his eyes that you can't see. My dad always wants me to cut his hair. What do you guys think? <laughs> nope. I'm not that brave. Let's see. That side looks good. Except for a couple of little scraggly pieces here. Another little scraggler. Let's see how I can do on this side. Come on. Come on. Don't cut his nose. We don't want a boo boo. Let's see how we did. Looking pretty good. And cut a little bit off this edge. Just a little bit. Uh oh, we got a couple scragglers. Let me get these scragglers. He's looking so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna cut that down. So I'm gonna cut down the sides because I don't like the way this little corner is sticking out. Actually, I could stick that under his arm. Hmm, that's an idea. Instead of trying to cut it and making it look all crazy, maybe I'll just glue it under his arms. I like that idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's just glue that under his, and that'll be his armpit. <laughs> so let's just glue that up underneath here. I can keep his arm up. I need three hands right now. Stay. You know what? I'm going to get my big scissors. Let's stick his arm in there and hold it back. There we go. All right, uh, there you go, Julie Picks. All right, let's see what I'm doing. Put a little bit of glue there. And we will put the beard under his armpit. That took care of that. All right, let's do this side. Need the scissors to hold this arm down. Okay. And let's stick it under his armpit. All right. Oh my goodness. Let me check this out. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. Okay, we're going to trim him and give him a little rounded beard at the bottom. So let me try to do that from underneath. So I don't cut away too much of his beard. Actually, I do want to cut away some of it because I want to make it really rounded looking. Well, not really rounded looking, the best I can do. So I'll just trim him up. Don't anyone tell my dad that I did this. <laughs> you can do it for a gnome, but you can't do it for me. All right, looking better. A little more rounded. Let me put 
push this back. You guys can't see what I'm doing. So into getting his beard cut right. His beard's looking pretty good. I'm gonna glue his beard down because he still has a little bit of bulk underneath. So let me get that done real quick. So a little bit of bulk from the beard he already has under there. I'm gonna glue it a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, just put some glue right there on his belly. So we can have him sitting in nicely. Oh my goodness, he's looking so cute. He looked cute before, but he's looking even cuter now. All right, let's work on this hat. Alrighty, let's glue his hat. Put a little bit of fur on my glue gun. Let's see. Oh, a good amount on there. Down the side here a little bit. Okay, let's put his little fur on the top of his hat. He's going to have one coordinating outfit. His gloves match. The bow on his hat matches. And his boots will match. Put a little bit of pressure on the hot glue. And I can feel it through that fur. Ow. <laughs> I'll survive. And next, we're going to do his boots. Okay, let me cut the tag off his boots while we're waiting for his hat to finish. Here comes his boots. Cute, cute, cute. Now he's got these little shoe looking things on. I'm just gonna cut them off. I'm just taking him all apart, aren't I? So we're gonna just take his boots off. Looks like he's having surgery. Don't cut him too close to his outfit. We don't want his outfit falling apart. Or you could even fold them under, whichever you choose. And here comes the cute boots. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Now, I am going to put the glue around the top of the boots. And then we'll line him up. So I'm going to get my glue gun. Put him over there. And here we go. I think I'm gonna do him in a V pattern like that. It looks cute so you can see the separation of the boots. All right, here we go. Put a good amount because it's gonna go down into the fur a little bit. here with some more. Back over here. All right. Hopefully that's enough. We're going to set him right down. Okay, we're going to set him right down on those boots. Plop him. Plop. And we're going to nagel him. So we feel like he's standing up. And he's been standing in these boots for about a week now. 
on my dining room table with no glue. Keep that glue. Just push him down there till that glue sets. I think he looks so cute. So adorable. Keep giving him a little pressure down here where his boots are. Feel some glue over here and it's still hot. <coughs> Are you standing? We did it! He's so cute! Oh my goodness. Okay, let me pull the camera back some so you can see all of him. And I will be right back. Oh my goodness. How seriously cute is he? I don't know if I want to put anything in his hands or not. I like this beard showing. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Those boots just do everything. Look, it looks like a barber shop in here. <laughs> he's got little hairs all over the place. Little hairs. But he is adorable. Here's his little hat. With his little fur to match his hands. And his boots, or his mittens, I should say. Oh my gosh, he's just too cute. Okay, I'm going to clean him up and set him somewhere where he looks nicer than with my paintings behind him. <laughs> and add that to this video. But I think he looks adorable. Okay, and this time we're going to transfer the gray gnome from Dollar Tree. And I got this pretty fur at Dollar, no, not Dollar Tree, at Joanne Fabrics. They had a fabulous sale on fur, plus an extra 20% off. It's so pretty, and I already cut it down. You've already seen it with the red one, how I cut the beard down. So let me show you what he looks like so far. I didn't glue it on yet. So here's how he looks so far with this beard. I love it. And it coordinates with his outfit. And I'm still going to use the same fur for his cuffs or mitten, whatever you want to call them, from this hat. And for the top of his hat and use the same boots from Walmart. So let's get him finished. Oh, and by the way, notice anything different? This time I cut off his whole beard. It was very easy to cut off. So you might take that into consideration if you do one of these. Okay. So let the hairdressing commence. Let's put the hot glue next to and under his nose. long streamer already coming out of my glue gun. Got it. Not stretching across my camera. Oh lordy. Uh oh. We got some fur on his nose and we don't want that stuck there. Get that off of there. No fur on the nose. Alright. Here we go. Let's glue from here. This corner. And here we go. Shaky glue gun hand. Under his nose. And back over to this corner. Alrighty. And I have my V cut out to go under his nose. And I also made a little shape down here, a little zoop -de zoop With my terminology, a little zoop -de zoop 
Ow, it never fails. The darn glue always gets me. Ow, that hurt. Okay. Looks good. I'm going to do what I did with the last one, this last little bit over here. I'm just going to glue under the armpits. So let's take that. Hold that down. Get those little pair of scissors. And hold that arm down. Why we glue his armpit? Okay, press that nice and flat right under his armpit. Let go of his armpit. And let's do this side. I think I can do it with two hands and no scissors this time. Let's see. Scissors were serving as my third hand. Okay, right under the armpit. All right. Top part's done. I have to cut the sleeve off, too. So, let's glue down here. Down at the bottom. Push it back so you can see. I'm going to glue under here. Get that pretty straight. Get it right between his feet. I didn't do it real even because I... Your hair is not totally even. Well, maybe some people's is. Or... Mine isn't. It's different lengths. Let's see. You know what? I'm not going to make that same mistake. I'm going to put the glue right here. I kind of want it to get on the fur and grab my hands. So we'll put that right there. And his beard looks nice. So cute. This is so soft. A piece of glue over there. Okay, stand up. Stay standing. And now we're gonna do the little mitteny thingies. Got them all cut down. I'm fluffing them out. Fluff it a little bit. Fluff it up. Just make it a little scraggly. <coughs> Excuse me. And then put the glue on the arm, not on the fur. Just for safety reasons. Underneath. All right. Grab that piece of fur. I'm going to start with the widest part. I cut it a little bit wide on one side. I'll put that right in the front and then go underneath and hold it. These guys are so cute for a dollar. I mean, as is, too. They're made pretty well. I mean, just considering even the knit hat. Okay. 
Okay, let's do this one. Same thing. On the arm, I'm in the hand underneath. Fluff out your little mittenny thingy. And apply. Go beans. A little red string stuck over here. Oh, go on. He's got some more mittens. All right. Now we are going to do the top of the hat. Okay, so I cut his it's going to be his little ball of fur for the top of his hat a little wider this time than from the red one and I'm fluffing it out just keep fluffing it and I am going to put the glue on the top of his hat Okay, that looks like enough. Let's see. Let's put this right there. Darn, that glue gets me every time. That darn glue. <laughs> and let's put some pressure on it. So it closes up nicely. That looks cute. So cute. Looks like he's nice and warm. Okay, now we're going to apply the boots. Alrighty, here's the boots. And this time what I'm going to do, instead of cutting the feet off, I'm actually going to bend them back and maybe give them a little more stability on top of the boots. That seems to work. So let me glue the top of the boots. I hope I have enough glue in my glue stick. Glue gun. Enough for that side. Oops. I'm going to get something to push this through. Let's see. Come on. Come on. I can still see some more glue in there. I don't want to quit now. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. We can do it. Almost. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit in the back. Okay. Let's see. Push his feet back. And level him on his boots <clears throat> excuse me and I think he looks good let's see let me turn him it looks like it's a little crooked in the camera he's not looking directly at you guys He's looking pretty cool. Let's see 
I need glue drip drip back here. I'll get that off before it dries. I don't see any. I feel some. Yep, a little tiny. Another successful story. All right, he is all done. I had bent his little uh, hat down. I thought that looked cute like that. He's so cute. Okay, so here I am from the hat down. And my new beard. I'm just so soft. And my new boots. The little jingle bells. So everybody hears me coming through the woods. I could just picture these little guys running through the woods. Okay, so here they are. All finished and ready to be displayed. This one has a little bit of glare on him. Let's see, there we go. Cute! Cute, cute, cute. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you'll like and subscribe. I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy doing it. A couple burnt little fingertips, but other than that, this was fun. And pretty cool to transform these guys. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.